Okay, so next I am going to reconfigure some of the pages and set up a contact page and then about page. I have um, just been playing with the pages here, tidy them up. Let's go to pages and let's switch this up. Okay, so here we are inside the pages for my site. I'm inside Notion here, so let's just um, really, as soon as I open up Loom and record and do all this, it slows down. So we've got, I've got a home page which I've made and I've just roughly written some stuff on it. Let's just let that load. I'm gonna, sh I'll show you that in a minute if it's too slow loading, but I've just put um, what it is, get swipes from top 100 sites. And this is all in Notion, remember, I've just put this in, embedded the tweet, contact form, I'll link that through to my contact form and then, you know, um, just a thing saying follow me. That's the home page. And then I've got an about page, which is this one, which I will change. I'll probably delete this one and do my own. So this is the feather one. And then, okay, it's just that about feather. And then we're gonna have a contact page. So let's jump in, back into feather a second here. Um, now we've got these pages published. Let's go to settings. First thing we want to do is create a navigation bar across the top. So I'm just going to go into the navigation, set up a primary nav. So we've got, um, you can put things like, so if we make a logo, we can add a logo in here. And these are the links that will be in our top navigation. So what I'll do is I'll just choose, or let's just give this about, um, don't know if I need a short description, but I'll put it in. And then we're going to select Notion page, and then it'll pull up my page and I'm going to say, uh, about, I'm going to choose about feather. <laughs> Let me just change that now to say about Topicon. Uh, when it wants to change and then I'm going to publish it and I, I'm trying to set up the structure of this site and then I'm going to start publishing, you know, the, the actual tool, the resource that is there for people to get hold of. Oh, the page is locked. There we go. That's why it's not letting me edit that. So I need to unlock. Let's put about top ecom. So this should show on the actual page. We can relock that. Uh, Publish. Okay, that's fine. The slug is about. Let's go back here. Now this will actually update. I'm going to leave it like that. But let's save the changes for now. That will update. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to add another one probably for contact. So you can see it's already updated there. So let's add a new one. And let's call this contact. I'm not sure where the description shows, but I'm not too worried about that. Let's choose Notion page, contact, save. Now I've got tally open here. So for this, I'm gonna call this top ecom. I'm gonna use tally forms for this because it's a great little tool for Notion. And um, uh, let's just, I'll, I'll just choose an empty form actually to show you how quick this is. What I want to do is put in pretty much a, I want to ask for email. So insert that. I'm going to ask for a text field, which will be name like so. And then we'll put in a long text field for message. That's it. So that is the form. Um, we can change these so I can put this, so oh, that's, we can write email. Let's just put name. Um, type your message. So that is the form. That's all I'm going to do for it. And I'm going to click publish here like so. And then that will give me a link. There's the link. Copy that. Switch back to Notion. Go to my contact page here. And then I just want to put in... So this is actually from my site that I was playing around with before. Um, let's open that as a page. Um, either it's my site, create embed like that, that will then load in that tally form. It puts it in quite big, but you can just resize it. So you've got this spacing. Now, you can pull this up like this. I don't take it all the way because if people miss fields, they get an error box and the form expands slightly. I'll show you that maybe um, later. Um, and that's it. They're all required. So that's Again, that's inside Notion. So now when I go back to uh, my site, we've got that all set up here. So that will now 
be there'll be a contact form in there. Let's just double check. I've saved changes. Um, so we've got about contact us and um, we'll probably have the free template in there once I upload that. So I'll put that into the navigation as well. Let's just go back to settings for general. And um, look, I've got this saying my new feather blog. Now I'm going to put my home page actually as the home page. If I reload my site here. Also, one thing I've noticed that like I said before about the www, www at the start of the domain name. I think because I deleted that thing in the first video, if you watch it, and um, I deleted it and it's not working. So if you type www at the moment on my domain, it doesn't work. So I need to remap that with the DNS settings, which I'll do um, in a moment. So what I'm going to do here, so the blog is this one. If I refresh it, you can see already the, the links are at the top, so that's pulled through. Um, we've got my about and contact. If I click on the contact, you should see the form. Feel free to drop me a message if you're watching this. Um, there you go, there's the contact form. So that's if people want to just contact us from the site. Um, I'm then going to have another form for um, e-com site submissions where people can send us new um, sites that they want to have on the, dem on the template. Now what I'm going to do here, I've done my home page. So I go to here and I choose make this as the home page. So what that does is that sets the home, forward slash home, to be the home page. Um, I think it just done it. I didn't get any confirmation there. Make this as home page. Okay. Oh, yeah, now it's done it, updated. So if we go back here and now reload this, we should see that content I had on the home page, which is nothing fancy. Let's just see what gets pulled through. Um, I'll open up my home page while we're here on here. So let's go back. It's not pulling through, not changing here yet. It's just reloading. Okay, um, it will work because I have done it already before on another site and tested it. So remember, this was that home page. So all it says is get swipes from 100 plus from the, no, from A, that should be from a 100 plus top Shopify stores. So what I'm doing with that is I'm just going to keep adding to my list of Shopify sites. Bang, there you go. Right, so home, we want to get rid of that. I don't like that. That could actually just be my title, similar to what we just saw. Um, there's the embeds not pulling through as yet. That might just take a second. Um, but there it is, and we've got the contact link. So what I want to do is link this through to my contact form, which is here. So if I copy this link, like so, go back to my home page, open up the home page in Notion, go back down to here, and edit this link. So what I could do is just choose um, my, I should actually choose my contact page in this database, I think. Let's just type contact because um, I, d I think that's a different site actually. I'm going to put. I'm going to try this. I don't know what happens if you put in the link to web page. I think it might open up a new page, but I'm going to do that anyway. So there is my home page done. We'll come back and test that. You can see this now pull through the tweet or the tweet. One thing I'm going to also try is setting this home page to um, full width. See how that looks. That might spread it out on that home page. So, again, conscious of this video, we're now eight minutes. So I'm going to kill this one here. I'm probably going to go and reconfigure lots of things with these pages, and I can just do one short video showing you and telling you everything I've done, rather than you watching me, you know, do everything. It seems um, Notion's um, being really slow when I'm running running it with a uh, loom running recording as well. So let's just see what happens. Um, I'll refresh that to see if that goes full width. Yeah, no. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to come back and configure this. Got the about page done, the home page done, and then he's just get the blog going as well so I can just publish some content there and put all these videos up there as well and people can follow along from here. Got this little Twitter icon here to edit um, and then a few other things to change on here. So. That's it for now. Let's, um, I'll see you in the next video.